Hey everyone, it's Emily Waffles here with another How To Rec Room video all about Events Improved! So the event system got a huge rework and makeover to make it easier and better for you to put on events. I'll be showing you the steps on what has been added and what has been changed and everything in general, so let's go look at the events page. Alright, so we're going to start by opening your watch and pressing the events tab right here. And as you can see, it looks totally different. It's got a new makeover. So I'll just go ahead and walk you through everything, starting with these toggles at the top. We have live, upcoming, popular, my events, and create. Let's start at the live page, which is this one. So the live page shows events going on right now, sorted by the current people in attendance. And if we hit the upcoming toggle, it'll show us some upcoming events going on later. And if we hit the popular toggle, it shows us the events by the number of players who said that they are attending. In the my events toggle shows events that you have created and RSVP to and I haven't made any so there's nothing here. And then the create toggle is where you create an event but we're gonna come back to this one later. The search bar got a bit of an upgrade as well. Not only can you search by event title, but you can also search for the room that the event takes place in as well as the tag and the creator of the event. So if we want to search all events by Marisa, it will show us. One notable thing to add about this new makeover is that the events now show the number of people participating, this number in the corner here. You can click on the I button to show more info about an event. And here you can see more information about the event. But let me show you something new on this page is the room button. This shows the room that the event is taking place in. So you can click on it and it will take you to that room page. Let's go ahead and look at these toggles over here. Yes, interested and no. Yes means that you are going to the event and when you go back to my events it will now show up here under my events. The interested toggle means that you may be going to an event and it also puts it under the my events toggle if you choose it but does not count you as going and it will still give you a reminder when it starts if you choose to go. And the no button means that you do not want to go to the event. It won't show up anywhere and it won't give you a reminder or anything. You can invite players to other events not owned by you, so you can use this to invite your friends. And check out this new feature. You can now search the name of the player that you want to invite to the event. And over here is the report event button. If an event is inappropriate or breaks the code of conduct, you can go ahead and fill this out here. Here you can find out when the event is going on. Here you can find out who is hosting the event. You can click on this and it'll bring you to their profile. And here we'll show the event image. And here's basic details about the event, the title, the description, and the tags will go here. If we click on the guest toggle, it will tell us who is attending. The setup button is grayed out if it is not your event, but we will come back to that later. Another cool feature is that you can press this code button right up here and it creates an event code. You can see player event. Press the code button while on an event page to create a code for that event to copy and share with people to go. Hooray! Now let's go ahead and create an event of our own just by hitting the create button over here. We're just gonna create a title. Test event, yay it is. Description is just gonna be test. For the tags, let's go ahead and choose those. We can choose a custom celebration tag because of this new event system. Let's celebrate it. And let's put in a custom one as well by doing a comma and then I'll just go ahead and write yay. Celebration yay. Those are our two tags for this event. Let's go ahead and select the location of this event. We're gonna choose this room right here for our event. Uh, we're gonna set the day to today and we're gonna set it for it'll be 10 minutes from now. It will be from 9 to 10 p.m. currently. There we go, setting up the event. Now let's go over the event accessibility options. Public means it's available for anyone to see in the events tab. Anyone can respond to it and anyone can join. Unlisted events can be shared and allow players to join friends without requiring an invite, but won't be displayed publicly. And private means it won't show up anywhere in the events tab unless players are invited to it. And we'll keep it to public because yeah, let's let other people celebrate the new event system. And if the event is public, you get this option of sending an announcement to all your subscribers. I'm gonna say no, but you can feel free to say yes. And we can go to our event an hour before it starts. It's only 10 minutes, but let's go now. Hooray! <laughs> 
check out that cool new jingle for entering events. That is custom for new events instead of joining a new room. Taking another look at my events, I have an event that I created and an event that I want to attend. So let's go ahead and click on my event and you can see that setup is now a button that we can press because this is my event. Here you can change any of the aspects of the event before it starts. So we can change the accessibility back to public, unlisted or private. We can change the location by meaning changing the room that this is in, changing the time, the date, the image. Now, let me show you something awesome about the event image. By pressing this button, it will bring up the camera. And instead of using the room thumbnail, you can take your own picture and it will change the picture for the event itself. Ta-da! And if you don't do this, it will just remain the default picture for the room thumbnail. So you can choose to do this if you want. You can even use this page to delete the event if you so desire. And one more cool thing to show you all is that when you are in an event, this room changes to this event. So you can show you the event itself. And if you want to go to the room, you can go here. There you go. All right, that's how to do the new event system. I hope this helps you to make some awesome events. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more things Rec Room and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of it.